We all know Skylanders is a great toys to life game and how it immersed its audience into a new world of both collecting, gaming and investing our college fund into plastic. But I mean look at these silly guys, who could say no to the $5,000 price tag? If you don't know already, this Skylander is known as Happy Birthday Ben Starcast and it was released exclusively for Tom Brady's son's birthday party. Now as a Skylander fan similar to me, you might be wondering, how am I going to finish my collection when Skylanders can be gatekeeped to different events and countries? But what if I told you it's been this way all throughout time? Today I'll be just covering the international differences between the release of these plastic figures and why you may or may not recognise or own some of them yourself. All of the Americans in the audience will know exactly who these four Skylanders are, being the original four sidekicks released by Free or Lee in 2012, and how by buying this bag and committing Baby's first gamble, you had the chance to win one of these figures. Now they weren't very hard to win, so most hardcore collectors didn't have much of a challenge getting all four. But that's in America. Can you guess what the UK did? You might be thinking they used our equivalent of Lay's, owned by the exact same brand, Nope, collectors here had to wait until August 13th to have a chance to win Skylander sidekicks from not chips, but gummies. Now they weren't insanely limited, but like all Skylander figures there's no official number, but most likely it was more limited to the states due to the smaller promotion runtime and the fact that only Whisper Elf and Gilrunt were available. That's right, you couldn't even get Trigger Snappy or Terabyte from this offer. The next sidekick release was in October 2013, where you bought a Skylander book featuring the gunless infant in Oliver's green base glory, but Terabyte was still nowhere to be seen. There's no news online anywhere saying that he did or didn't release in the UK, but my presumption is he didn't, but for some reason he's still cheaper than Whisper Elf, which most people would think that since Whisper Elf's sidekick is rare because her mini is expensive and desirable, that makes sense. But no, because here in the UK, they re-released the Whisper Elf sidekick in 2015. And the thing is, it's even more shocking, because we didn't even get the giant sidekicks here. That's right, we didn't get a second promotion giving us the giant sidekicks. We only got those three sidekicks released. And even funnier, there was no web codes at the time in the UK releases, so it was impossible to have a sidekick Skylander on the Spyro's Universe game. America also had a far luckier with Chase variants than here in the UK. For example, all of the free Ole giveaway Chase variants, like the three Firebone Hot Dogs, Pumpkin Fright Rider, and Flux Stump Smash, were unavailable here. And even the ones that were available, such as Red Drill Sergeant and Blue Bash, have a far steeper price than in the United States. The only semi-exception to this would be Glow in the Dark Fright Rider, since it only released in Europe. However, America evened that out by releasing Glow in the Dark Sonic Boom exclusive to Walmart. And instead of releasing it in the Walmart equivalent in Europe, it just remained in America. There are, however, some figures which only released in Europe, such as Crystal Clear Whirlwind and Fruit Punch Camel, releasing in random LG TV bundles. So surely that should be a win for Europe, this should be nice and cheap over here, right? Oh. Well. That's pretty sad. However, we still did get some minor wins, such as both of the 3DS starter pack exclusives in Dark Spiral and Punch Pop Fizz being available in single pack format. And even though America did get Dark Spiral in a single pack, it was exclusive to Gamescom, so it was far more accessible here in Europe. One international difference that does make sense is the fact that here in Europe, employee editions are more rare. 
but I can forgive Toys for Bob for this because they were never intended for the public. What I can't forgive is the most overpowered Skylander Series 2 variant was just not released in the UK. And even more shockingly, it's cheaper to get an import from the United States than to actually buy one here. That of course is Series 2 Drawbot, which my guess is we just weren't ready for a world where Drawbot got an upgrade. Moving away from the speak with America for a second, we're going to go to Australia, because as you may know, they do have three exclusive Skylanders in the light, life and fire yawn traps. Now functionally these are the exact same as a regular Skylander trap, except they look silly so they're a bit better. And after Australia got kind of screwed over in the Flock Springtime Trigger Happy giveaway, it's nice to see them get a win because obviously these will be so cheap considering they don't have to get shipped. But uh, well. Now as I was saying about the Flock Springtime Trigger Happy, Australia only got 25 of them in a random luck giveaway, whilst the other 1,475 were distributed across the world for everyone to get and anyone to buy without having to win a giveaway. Moving on to probably the most infamous example of international difference, we have Thrillipede and Buzzwing. Although these were given away in the USA to certain content creators in limited batches, it never got a full regular release like a normal Skylander, except in Europe. So finally, after all this, Europe's got a W. Now don't get me wrong, it's still a bit of a pricey figure at around 40 to 60 pounds, but it's better than what America got, just sitting there waiting and getting an Easter bunny. I would be saying this is a major, major Europe win, However, at the time of recording, a couple days ago for no particular reason, US Amazon just had Thrillipede in stock in box for $40. But they're all gone now, so we can laugh at America freely. Buzzwing falls into the same boat, however, it is almost identical to every other Sky vehicle, so it's not as expensive as Thrillipede due to not having unique abilities. Moving on to Imaginators, Toys for Bob was actually quite nice in the fact that there's only one figure to talk about in terms of international difference. But it's just a variant of a creation crystal. The Magic Claw creation crystal was released in an 8 pack of creation crystals in Europe, but not in America. So the price difference is about $30, however that is the only figure to talk about in regards to Imaginators, so a good job from Toys to Bob. Before we finish off, there are some minor differences between regions that I'd like to talk about. One that isn't intended is the fact that although almost every single prototype gets shipped from China, they almost never appear on international websites only American. So that is a bit strange. And another random detail is the fact that the Trap Team Core Curse, the fact that the cores are often more expensive than the Trap Masters, isn't really applicable outside of the United States. Even cores like Spotlight and Blackout which are normally expensive, although still costing a chunk of money, they're a lot cheaper than the United States here. So there is that to be happy about, it'll help here for the drawbot, and help track down a terabyte. So thank you for making it to this part of the video, and especially thank you for listening to me ramble about useless Skylanders facts for 10 minutes. If there's anything you think I missed out, or any facts you know, please let me know, and I'd be happy to reply.